From NAB in Las Vegas, Studio Box evolves both their hardware and software offerings. This is Mac Voices. Today's Mac Voices is supported by Collide. Collide ensures only secure devices can access your cloud apps. It's zero trust tailor-made for Okta. Book a demo today at collide.com slash Mac Voices. Mac Voices is at NAB in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, we met the folks from Studio Box last year for the first year after back here after the pandemic. They had a really cool product that seemed to be so much in line with the times. And now Ian's going to tell us what the updates are that maybe are even more in line with the times. I hope so. <laughs> Good to talk to you, Ian. Yeah, you as well. Chuck, thanks. So uh, where, did, where? I mean, you've obviously made some changes and some upgrades to Studio Box. Tell us uh, how it all is coming together for you. Yeah, we've been hard at work. Uh, last time we were here, we were a production company. We've been working uh, in the world of production services, running shoots for people. Uh, we've done 500 shoots in that time, all successful. We built a really great product, and we decided it's time that we let people uh, run these shoots themselves to put the, the product into other people's hands. So that's what we've been working on over the last year. We did that by creating a new version of our box, which is meant to live with people long term. It's very rugged, designed to be able to ship and not break. That's the, the big idea. And, uh, and then the other big element that we've been hard at work on is creating software. So we're transitioning into becoming a SaaS company. Uh, you license our software to gain um, access to the control system of the box. So you start being able to control cameras, lights, pan and tilt heads, microphones, monitors, all from one um, control system, one control panel. So you ship me the box, then I hire you basically to do the production part of it. I sit down in front of the box okay. and then you take over. So that has been what it, we've been doing for the last two and a half years. Yeah, you hire us, we have a cinematographer who handles the shoot for you, does all the, the uh, controlling of the box. That's been the last two and a half years. The future is you control the box. You can still hire us if you'd like. We're still gonna be a production company with services, but you can also just subscribe to the software and run the shoot yourself. So hire your own guys, have your own cinematographer, give them access to the software and they'll run the shoot. Uh, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Okay. So I'm, if I, I mean, you've, you've already, you solved the hardware problems for me. I just provide the people to run the box and That's do the production. That's right. That's very yeah. interesting. And you can have, uh, we designed it so that only one person is needed to run the box, but you could um, assign permissions. So I could have a, my cinematographer, my audio guy, my teleprompter person, all in the box at the same time, all in control of their side of things and not, not have access to anything else. So you can start building out and crews uh, remotely to start running this equipment if you wanted. So um, if, if I'm running this software or my people are running the software myself, are we connecting over the web? Or are we connecting hardwired? Over the web, yeah. It's all done over public internet. You just need a browser. So you can be anywhere in the world on Chrome running shoots from anywhere. I, I run shoots from uh, Mexico all the time, you know, down on the beach. So uh, you can start to, it really opens up the, the world of like, you don't have to hire crews, local crews. You don't have to ship crews and you don't have to go and you don't have to, uh, you don't have to be anywhere but where you want to be. So yeah, that's the, yeah, but, the idea. But I like the idea that I mean, doing shoots from the beach, you, <laughs> you have a pretty good life. It's pretty um, good. It's pretty but, good. <laughs> But so so that can be you or it can be my people. Either same, way. same thing. Same they, thing. They can be remote as well. So exactly. if I travel to Mexico, I can take the box with me. Totally. I still have their expertise. Sure. Exactly, hundred percent. And if your your team, if you have a cinematographer you love who's in one part of the country and another guy that you love is in another part, let them both be in the box at the same time. Doesn't matter where they are. And what we realized in building this and being able to control all the aspects of the box, we realized, oh we can control film gear period so because we figured this out we can now control any light with dmx any microphone connected to a mac and any black magic camera all can be controlled through our software so we're getting to a place where you don't need a box you, you can just have uh, uh, access to our software and your own camera and your own gear or access to someone's home studio across the world or if they have gear you can rely on that and get control of it 
So I think so that's where the SaaS model comes that's in. That's where the SaaS model comes in, and then we end up becoming almost like an operating system, all in one system for remote controlling film gear. That's very cool. That's very cool. I love the evolution of it too, because when when you came out, you solved a problem that was immediate. The pandemic problem. Yeah. But now you're seeing that that solution still holds, but there are ways to expand it. It's, it's true. We were worried that after COVID, with this business would dissolve and this possibility, but it's stayed very consistent. So this is a new way of doing things. It, it rewired people's brains. They don't want to, to fly over all over the place. And when they see this as a as a potential solution, that uh, it just like it, it becomes just such a, a relief to know that someone has figured this out and that they don't have to cool. to do it the old way that they've been doing it for years. People people get tired of traveling around all these places, man. It's expensive too. Okay. It's darn expensive. And, and not good for the planet. Second so, camera, like yeah. walking through it, we just um, in, So what's in the box? Uh, uh, this for version of the box is a Black Magic system, so it's got a Black Magic Pocket Cinema 4K which shoots 4K raw, so you're getting really, really high-end stuff. Love Blackmagic cameras, love their color science. It makes for very cinematic quality uh, images. And then we've got a light gear light card with, uh, as the light, which is, they're an awesome company as well. Sennheiser, shotgun microphone, Senken Cost 11, lavalier, a Lilliput monitor, and a Kessler pan and tilt head. And then the new version of our box has an elevate function, so you can change the height. So you've got it all. <laughs> we tried to. That was one of the, you know, after doing it for two years, we learned a lot. We know we've learned a lot. So we knew one of the biggest pain points was trying to get the camera at eye level. Oftentimes what we found, but now I know it's way too much about home furniture. Tables are often too high for a chair. Chairs are often like an inch or two too low for the table it's associated with. And and I have this vision of people trying to balance your box on a stack of books. Exactly. And you guys were not happy about I know, that. Exactly. That's exactly right. Anytime I had to like do that, I was like, oh, I'm not defeats the whole purpose. Yeah. yeah. And, and please don't sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> it all comes crashing that's down. That's right. You understand. Um, what kind of pricing are we talking about for any of the services you're offering? So on the production side, we've been doing these boxes, renting them out for $1,200 a day. We're now shifting to... Uh, selling boxes for 33000 We're doing a special here at NAB for 33000 to buy a box. We're also shifting to long-term rentals. We want people to hold on to these for one month, two months, three months, a year, however long their projects are. That would be uh, 3750 a month. So you can see we've gone, we're going from $1,200 a day, which we've been charging successfully for clients, to $3,750 a month, which is a huge uh, cost savings if you rent it for a month. And you can go and rent it back out to your customers. I'm sure you can get a much higher price than what you're going to be paying from us. So we want to we want to incentivize and, and get these into production companies' hands so that they can then rent them out to their customers. Well, and especially with all the gear you just described, none of that is inexpensive. So you're giving folks a high-quality solution as opposed to something that was just cobbled together. That's true. It's I mean, it's about $14,000 worth of stuff that we've figured out and spent a, a lot of R&D money and time uh, figuring out how to ship without breaking. That was a big part of it. Yeah. Um, and then the software to give you the control over it in a very sure. easy, one solve solution. Uh, because in the past two years, we've been doing this dance between like 14 different pieces of program, like 14 pieces of software that we've now combined into one. Very nice. I, I do have to ask, so for that much, Per day, yeah. um, am I also getting your services, or is that an additional cost? Yeah, we're we're actually going to be lowering that a bit to eight hundred dollars a day. Um, but for subscribers, if you own a box or you subscribe a month or beyond to a box, we, we're giving you a discount to our production services of like twenty percent. So, uh, if you have a box and you just have, you know, you have these ongoing shoots, but if there's one shoot coming up where you're like, oh, I, I wish I had a second box. You can rent it, rent it for one day from us for six hundred dollars and rely on us to get it there and help you pull off that that end of the shoot. So we're thinking about this. It's a little complicated right now, to be honest, because we're we're sort of in this transition hybrid mode. But we've got services, we've got hardware, we've got software, and those trying to figure out how those three things kind of come together to to make a, a seamless solution. Yeah. Yeah, but again, I, I admire you for the evolution. You're experimenting. This is a bit of a transition time, but you you are evolving the product, and the product is worth it, especially when you talk about the hardware costs, the 
the, the cost of hiring competent yeah. talent yeah. and and back end. So yeah, it, and, it, it and, works. And we wouldn't be pursuing this further if we didn't get the feedback from our customers that it, it does work and it's in, in need. I mean, we continue to, to um, the clients reach out to us all the time. It's, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. The video you have running in the booth, you, you know, you've got some notable people that, you know, you would recognize. Yeah. It, it looks great. You know, in this environment, Thank it you. even sounds great. Thank so, yeah. which is a, to, yeah, a small hard, thing. Hard yeah. 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 The, the celebrities uh, love this thing. You know, no, no crew have to enter their home. They it stays private, intimate. You know, that every time we send this to a celebrity, they're like, how do we get our hands on it? This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's. Yeah. That's it. You almost have to explain the concept yeah. in some detail, and then once folks get it, yeah. they get it. They instantly. That's why NAB is the best place to be because uh, you can explain this all day, but to just just you know do this, do, do, go like this, it's worth a thousand words. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Ian, the uh, the website where folks can go to hire a box, rent a box, rent you, yes, sir. rent you on the beach in Mexico. <laughs> That's right. Um, uh, studiobox.co. That's where you'll learn about the, the software and the hardware. And there's a little button at the top for production company if you need our services. Thank you so much. I'll look forward to you. talking to you next year. All right, man. See, I what, hope so. see yeah. what happens. Yeah, yeah, right on. Appreciate you. Folks, we'll have more from NAB in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.